welcome to Quitology, brought to you by Fabric Editions. My name is Kristen, and along with Fabric Editions, we have put together a video to jumpstart your quilting. Today's lesson is about piecing half hexagons. Hexagon quilt designs are very popular today, but at the same time, they can be tricky to put together because of the Y seam. We want to show you how easy it is to make this beautiful half hexagon quiltology mirage quilt. And this quilt has no Y seams. Learn tips and tricks to cut out the unique shape using the pattern included in the kit. Just cut strips, trace the design, and cut the pieces with an acrylic ruler and rotary cutter. Sewing the pieces together is super easy too. We'll show you cutting tips and tricks to help you line up the pieces before you sew. Just sew the half hex pieces in a rows using nothing but straight seams. The pieces for the Mirage quilt are cut from 4 and an eighth inch strips of fabric. Make a plastic template from the pattern that is provided. To make a plastic template, you take the pattern that is included in your pattern booklet, you take your plastic that you can purchase at any fabric store, you simply lay it over your pattern piece and you trace it. When they're straight lines, I like to use my ruler so I know the lines will be perfectly straight. And I also like to use a permanent marker so it will not smear on the template. There's no need to trace the sewing lines because you will always be sewing at a quarter of an inch. Once you have your template drawn, you can then take scissors and cut out your template. For this quilt, you will need two, the half hex template and the end triangle. The half hexagon quilt is made from four and an eighth inch strips of fabric. You take your four and an eighth inch strip of fabric and place them right sides together. Make sure you line up the end as well as the edges. Then you take your half hex template, place it on your fabric and trace around it. Make sure you trace around the blunt edges as well and you rotate it from head to toe in order to conserve fabric. Once you get your piece all marked, then you can go ahead and cut it out with your rotary cutter. Make sure that you cut off the blunt edges as well because you will use those to help align the rows as you put them together. You repeat the same process for the end triangle units. You take a piece of four and an eighth inch fabric, align it at the edges, and you draw all the way around your template. Make sure you use the blunt edges as well and then you flip it so you will have no wasted fabric. Once you have them all drawn out, you will then cut them apart with your rotary cutter. Make sure you cut off the angles, and when you open them up, because you put the right sides together, they'll form a mirror image. Lay out the pieces according to the layout in the kit, or arrange as desired. Here are three alternate layouts for consideration. And you can choose the design that is your favorite. So sew the pieces into strips. Place them right sides together, matching the short side and the angled corner. So the angled corner should be parallel with the one block, and the angled corner should be parallel with the top of the other. Next, take it to your machine and sew a quarter of an inch. Press the seams in each row in one direction. Alternate the direction for each row so when they are sewn together, the seams will nest nicely together You'll take it to the machine and you'll sew a quarter of an inch seam. And when you open it up, it'll give you that perfect matching hexagon shape. See how easy it is to make the rows by sewing straight seams? We hope you have enjoyed learning to make a hexagon quilt the easy way with no Y seams. 